everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am going to make another floral soap. If you have seen my other video from today, I just did gardenia, actually a few hours ago. I got busy with an appointment. And this one is sweet pea. So my lye solution, my silk. That's why I filter this, just for the silk. I use cruelty-free silk. Harvest is after the worm leaves. I've never soaked with this fragrance before, so I don't know what to expect. I'm going to be green. And some yellow. And some pink. I think I want to do a little more yellow. I hope I'm in the shot. Mm, pretty much. Okay. trying to decide and I'm trying to see. It's kind of hard to see in the light. A little more pink too. I just want to do a tiny bit of green. Okay. Let's move those out of the way. And this is going to be white. You see me put a whole lot of white in here, but this is really watery. I had to add some hot water to this. So I have twice as much water in here as I normally do. Okay, let me get this a blend. I'm gonna check my color. That's okay. I don't know if you can see. You cannot. Um. Can you go check on her, please? I think somebody's just getting mad at their toys, but we'll make sure. Okay. Anyway, the light, the light helps me decide if that is the white I want or not. So this is the green. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going for some springy colors here. I want it to be pastel. I might add a little bit of white to this. I don't know. And I'm going to try just a hand blend this because there is not very much soap batter in here and I don't want to get a ton of air bubbles. I think this is the last floral soap I'm going to be doing this year. I've said it before. I am not a big fan of floral scents. There are very few that I like. I did Plumeria already today. That one I have all year round. That one sells out very quickly. Somebody is not happy right now. Okay, this one I think I'm going to have to blend up so I can see the color. I'll probably give them all a quick blend. Alright. And then pink. I don't want to blend too much though because it is pretty thick. Yeah, I'm going to have to stick blend. Okay. the color I was looking for. I'm going to rinse this off. Blend up the yellow. That should work. And see if I can do anything about the green. Yeah, it's good enough. All right. Put in the fragrance. 
fragrance. Just a drip in the green. And the rest in here. Hopefully this doesn't rice on me. Like I said, I've never worked with this particular fragrance before. And I was smart and didn't take time to look at reviews. So, we will see what we get. It's pretty yellow. And so far, my batter is actually loosening up. Don't have a plan for design. I just picked out colors. And I think Sweet Pea, I think light and pastel. And so I went with the pink, the yellow, and the green. Feels really good to be soaping again. I haven't soaped in such a long time. I was so busy with shows, and then I did the soap panel fragrances for Brambleberry, which were a ton of fun, but those were just one pound batches. Um, I had a bunch of custom orders that I did, small one pound batches, and then lots and lots of remakes. So it, it feels nice to be able to do some new soaps. My battery is dying. Hopefully it lasts uh, for the rest of this. Okay. I get my mold. Make sure you can see what I'm doing and I'm not going to knock anything on the ground. good I think. Probably as good as I'm going to get. So I am going to start with the white. That's quite a bit of white that I just poured in there. I'll do green next. I only really have a tiny bit of green. I think I'll do pink. Anyway, busy with shows, busy with remakes, and then the holidays, of course. Oh my goodness, who wasn't busy with the holidays, right? And my husband and I went to Texas to visit family. I just got home from that. What did I do first? I only want a tiny bit of green for the top. of husband. I think he just got home. Okay, so now I think I'm going to swirl this. Oops, I just threw away a packet of my cup. I'm going to swirl this. Okay, my timer shut off. I think you just missed me. Um, clean my hanger tool. Not a big deal. Hey. Soap. Yeah. Ooh, flying soap. Okay. Flying soap. sure I'm still in the camera. 
I'm just going to drizzle this on top. I like this green. First time using this green. And it's really pretty. on some yellow. She's mad you haven't come to say hello yet. Our toddler gets really excited when my husband comes home and he hasn't walked over to pick her up yet. He's just said hello. She's not happy. Yeah, but if I leave marks under the carpet, the mom won't be happy. So. Yeah, he's saying if he doesn't take off his shoes, the mom won't be happy. He is correct. you can hear her but she hasn't been talking for very long and uh, she says hi dad and hi and kitty and she's gone through these phases for a while the only thing she said was kitty and everybody was hi kitty and then everybody was hi mama and now everybody is hi dad dad so she's in a daddy phase right now loves her daddy Probably because she gets tired of me chasing her around all day long telling her no. <laughs> she's at that age where she wants to get into everything. You know, toddlers, age of independence. They want to do everything, everything belongs to them, and that's just the way it is, right? Good enough. Snack this down again. I'm going to move it so I don't fling smoke all over the camera again. I like these colors together. I hope you can see them. It's hard to see in the light. I'm stick. I want one. A lot of a different size, but I think this is what I've got for now. I just want to do some gentle swirls because I'm afraid I'm going to muddle it. I like the flat tops. I used to do high tops, and I was going through old photos and year-end things and looking at all the batches that I've made this year, and holy cow, <coughs> excuse me, I've made a lot of soap this year, and I didn't realize until I started working on my year-end stuff how many batches, but I really like the flat tops, and I think I'm just going to continue the flat tops instead of the mountain peaks. So, but there you go. There's Sweet Pea don't have an official name for it yet, but that's the fragrance. And this will be cured uh, February 9th, 2015. And don't go anywhere. I will have the cutting video at the back here. Okay, here is Sweet Pea. I still don't have a name for this. It smells really nice. Here are the ends. And there's the inside. It's real light, which is what I wanted. I didn't want a lot of color. I was going for the soft pastel look.
think you can actually see the colors better in the camera than I can here. It's just a dark and gray, wet day here. Which is pretty typical this time of year. The sun sets where we are. It's about 4 o'clock. So our days are pretty short. I like that one too. And this soap will be cured, Jan no, it is January, February 9th, 2015, and will be available on my website at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.